Hi there. So uh, this year we decided to try a, a different method for uh, starting off our sweet potato slips. Uh, last year you can see that we, this is the method we used, it's, uh, it's uh, mason jars with uh, sweet potatoes cut in half and you can see that they're, the slips are growing pretty nicely. Uh, we're right at the last day of March so uh, things are do coming along well. It's, they're not all consistent but they are growing and by the time it's ready, time to put them in the ground, they'll be uh, well started. So this is a traditional method that some people use, but uh, this year we decided to try, instead of putting it in water, is to put it into uh, soil with a heated mat. So if you look over here, we started these basically at the same time. Um, it, this might have been a day or two later, but uh, basically these are uh, wallpaper trays and uh, we put uh, potting soil in there and uh, diagonally place the sweet potatoes and we water these every day and uh, the the idea here is that uh, starting in March there's a, the, the sill is a little cool so we put, uh, you can see underneath we have a heating mat and uh, by heating the soil underneath the, uh, the slips have a, a really good head start and we actually found that the center of the heating mat is the warmest so I originally had it with the, with the trays like this. And you can see how these, these slips have uh, progressed farther than the other one. So I, I wind up spinning it around to make it more even. And as you can see, it's, we're getting some pretty even growth. This, this was pointed inwards as well. So uh, doing quite well. And uh, we'll see how far this gets by the time it's time to put them in the ground. Thanks.